What's up, lads and ladettes? How are we all doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. So, in today's little video, we are going to be shooting the shit out of some Kerberos down here at Borez. We have 60 PD of our weapon cells. We have our LC-150, and we're going to be blown away, these motherfuckers. And hopefully, getting something decent out of it. Now, we do have our... Our, our little little um, amplifier on here as well, so we're gonna run through these guys pretty quick And depending we might cycle, but we're gonna be run we're gonna be rolling through these guys at a pretty decent pace At least I believe we're gonna be rolling through these guys at a very decent pace now I want to do this at the start of the video instead of at the end of the video if you enjoy my video and you want to see more shit like this not just in Tropia universe, but I'm gonna be doing Eve I'm also going to be doing a new one called Elite Dangerous that I was informed about and I've looked at and it looks pretty fucking cool. Along with a whole mess of other things, Dark Souls, and basically whatever the fuck I want. If you enjoy that, hit subscribe. It's free. And who knows, I might be able to get to 2,000 subs by my birthday, which is May of next year. Which is an interesting goal, but it would be pretty, pretty fucking neato. Now, while we are hunting, I want to uh, have a little, little bit of a chat, little, little, little tiny bit of a chat about what's going to be happening tomorrow. And if you're watching this uh, after the fact, then obviously it means absolutely fuck all to you. But I am, of course, talking about the 1,000 subscriber special, and I'm talking about the giveaway specifically. Hey, got a global, got a global, 13 PD global, fuck it, I'll take it, <laughs> I won't say no to a 13 PD global, I will not say no, that makes me a very happy man, a very very happy man indeed, I love getting globals, so, as of this video coming out, the uh, people, like, everyone that has put their name down for the raffle, they are now on the list for all the raffle stuff, uh, anyone that puts their name down after the, the, uh, after the fact, you won't be going on the raffle unless I do it last minute. Unless I do it last minute, like if I get one or two, then I'll put them on. Any, like, if I get a shitload, you know, just randomly because of this video or whatever, then, you know, obviously that'll be be no bueno, because most of the people that do want to get in on it would have already watched my stuff, been keeping up with my stuff, and have seen the post, not only the uh, post, but also the video. People have seen it, so it's all G. So, I'm not worried about people being, like, feeling like, oh, you know, I put the, my name in, but, you know, no one, I didn't get anything, blah, blah, blah. Um... But I have a I have a substantial amount of names. I think it's uh, probably close to about 40, 50 names. And for three prizes, that's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens. Now, of course, there's uh, the way it's going to work is one if you win a prize, your name is removed from the raffle pool. Um, that's just the way that it works. So you know, once your name is pulled, your name is removed. And then we continue on our merry way. And as for the hunt, the hunt specifically is going to be uh, hunting Dykabas near Camp Icarus. The reason why I'm choosing the Dykabas is because uh, they are a little bit more prone to uh, wanting to global, which is always a good thing, because I've globaled off them, you know, several times. Uh, but they're also within the right sort of range where they have a little bit of a challenge, but they're not, you know, piddly pieces of shit sort of thing. Uh, they're a good enough thing for new players to come in to use the uh, Mako Foul if they, unless they have their own weapon. I do encourage people to use their own weapon. If you have your own weapon, use your own weapon. But if you do not have a weapon, and I'm not, I'm not expecting there to be a shitload of people. Unless there is. There might be. I don't know. But there's about 15 Mako Fowls. 
that should be plenty. And I made them all myself, so... Yeah. But, uh, I've been thinking, right? I've been thinking about, uh, sort of the next step, and I know, you know, people do, like, I know one of you guys did the whole, or oh, just get past the, just do the, this first, and then think about goals. Uh, no, I want to think about goals. So, my next goal, obviously, is to hit 2,000 subs, which would be pretty neato if I was able to. But the goal after that, I am... I don't know. I could continue to do, like, you know, a thousand subscribers at a time, sort of like, let's get to this goal and then to this goal. My social blade is all fucking weird. Um, they say that uh, I'm supposed to be, like, in 12 months be over 3,000 subs. That ain't gonna fucking happen. I think it's because they were looking at the amount of subs that I got uh, when Serial helped me with my final push, like, a month ago to, to get to the thousand subs. And there was a big, big sort of boom. I went from like 900 and like 900 and, I don't know, 950, 970, something like that. All the way up to like 1,050. Somewhere around there within a very, very short space of time. And Social Blade kind of expected blah. So I've been waiting for that to sort of steady out. I'm going to give it a few months to sort of see how many subs I tend to get in a month. And, uh, yeah, who knows? Could be interesting. And I could, you never know, I might get to 2,000 by, uh, my birthday. Definitely won't get to, like, 3,000 or over 3,000 in the next 12 months. Probably not gonna happen. Probably, actually, it's probably definitely not gonna happen. For, for a number of reasons. One, I don't think, uh, I haven't, I haven't locked... In enough of an audience with other things yet. Once I do, maybe, but at the moment, new. No. It's it's not going to get there. But uh, you know, small small baby steps. We reached the initial goal. Now it's on to the next goal. You know, the next, the next, the next goal. You know, and a lot of you guys are very optimistic as well. You guys keep saying, you know, another thousand subs is up ahead. Another thousand subs. Yeah, could be. It very well, very well could be. I'm not going to be counting my chickens before they hatch. Otherwise, the, the yolk will be on me. You know, I think that is the saying. But we'll see. It could, it could be, it could be interesting. And of course, I'm going to be doing a lot of, uh, a lot of various things over the next, uh, over the next twelve months, and and you know that could, that could very well garner something interesting. But who knows, I do have something interesting in the works, which could sort of push things ahead for me. But, at the end of the day, it, it, it's all, it's really all up to IRL RNG, you know? Real life RNG. Because at the end of the day, that's all it is, it's completely random. It's completely random if someone is gonna, one, see my video in their recommendations and and like two click on it and then three subscribe it, it, it needs to be like a very specific series of events you know hey 21 pd got us that nice little little fat global little fatty global let's see so we're at um uh, 50, around 70 PED at the moment, which is good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cycle through uh, this ammo. And, uh, yeah. Figured I'll cycle that through. See what see what we get back from that. Could be pretty cool. You never know. But two globals. Two globals in this video. Something is smiling down upon me. You know, Ludius is... He's up there. He's looking at me. And he's like, you're doing good, kid. You're doing good. Doing very good, kid. And watch me get absolutely no decent loots. <laughs> <coughs> Which would be absolutely... Uh, oh, it would be absolutely ironic. I go from... You know, two globals, some decent loot, some loots that are like four, five PED, something like that, and to getting absolutely nothing. It would be funny. 
I want, I'm not gonna lie. I would find that funny. It's like, uh, uh, one of my, um, Dark Souls videos. Speaking of, Dark Souls playthrough episode 7 is out. You know, link in the description. Go and show it some love. Uh, <laughs> but my, uh, one of the videos of Dark Souls that I recorded today, I went to fight Pinwheel and, um, yeah. I, I, I was, uh, I said something ironically, and, and it fucking happened, which is absolutely hilarious. Oh, there's a dude out here hunting. Little, little, uh, little dude out here hunting. I wonder how long he's been out here. Premium prospecting. Beginner archaeologist. Archaeologist. That would be treasure hunting, yeah? That would be my guess. It would be treasure hunting. Okay. Now you might be wondering why I'm not wearing my ghost. I think I'm doing- I'm now these days doing enough damage to not need to worry about using... Uh, ghost for things like the curbs and things like that, because... They don't hit overly hard. And of course, you know, as long as I keep an eye- Hey, that dude's part of my society! Cool! He's a part of my sock. Sick. It's always good to see people that are a part of the sock. It's always good. Always good. Indy! Yeah! Indy, Indy, Indy man. Hell yeah. What's up, man? Doing a little bit of Hunter Rooney? It's always good. It's always good. But, what was I saying? Um, I was saying something, but yeah, yeah. Uh, the the Dark Souls video was it was just a little little ironic thing. Uh, it was it was funny. Uh, man, you, you have no idea how much I tried to record today. I, I've recorded and scrapped like five videos today, just because I wasn't feeling it. And then I you know I recorded a batch of Dark Souls videos. I'm like, okay, yeah, it's all good. We'll we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. And I think it's because like I'm. Uh, I'm struggling to... not struggling. Like, I'm, I'm... no, I'd say I'm struggling. I'm struggling with my, uh, identity when it comes to, uh, YouTube, you know? Like, there's a lot of things that I want to do, but I'm sitting there going, like, what the fuck is this channel? Like, what the fuck am I? <laughs> I know I'm a gaming channel, but, like, am I, am I an MMO channel? Like, do, do I, you know? Am I, am I a, uh... Like a casual playthrough channel? Do, like, you know, do I do... <laughs> you know, doing the let's check out, like, am I, am I like a... A variety checkout sort of channel? Like, what, what, what the fuck am I? Beyond gaming channel, I got no answer to, like, for you. I got absolutely none. Like, zero answer do I have. When it comes to that sort of thing. Absolutely none. Speaking of none, getting no globals. We, I mean, we... Alright, I, I tell a lie. We just got a global... I tell a lie. I tell a big, fat, stinky lie. Ugh. Three globals, though. Three globals! Fucking hell. Not massive globals, but three globals nonetheless. You know, some, like I said, something must be, you know, going, yes, yeah, son, you get them globals. You get them globals, son. Uh, but I still believe I am... Let's see, this one's getting to 40. Close to 40. Okay, there, there's, there's a fourth global. Fourth global. Fourth global in the pocket. Okay. Okay, fair enough. There's four globals. Four of the fuckers. Holy shit. But they're all small globals then, though. They're all small. I haven't, like, I had one that was, like, 21, but I haven't had anything that's big yet. Like, no biggins, which, you know, I'm not, I'm not too bothered by. But still, I would like to see a biggin. Hey, a carrot! Let's get that carrot. Well, I mean, since we're going to be getting pretty damn close to it anyway, we might as well cycle again. Might as well just keep cycling. You know? As long as we make back our, um... You know, we're not going to lose a whole hell of a lot 
from our amplifier. I didn't even fucking see what we uh, our amplifier was at. I think it was at like 32 or something like that. It was around 32, I believe. But still, I don't think uh, e even with yeah, nah. We, we're gonna e even with like we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna easily get to the 60 60 PED mark that we put in for our ammunition. Like we're definitely gonna get that. Oh yeah, look, five seventy, like five eighty. We're definitely getting there. And we might even be able to cycle again, again, lads and ladettes, again. We're doing relatively good. Like, really fucking well. I was, like, four globals so far, like... <sighs> Did I hear five? And it's only been, like, what, 16 minutes. I've been recording for 16 minutes. And the Kerberos challenge rank is increased. Hell yeah, what is, what is this one at? 19, so... We're gonna have, you know... Yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. We'll figure out which one we're gonna pick. I'll figure it out later. I'm gonna look at a few few little bits and bobs then make a make that choice you know make that choice and another thing that I uh, wanted to talk about is the uh, the way that I want to do my entropy universe videos like for a while I'm gonna stick to you know doing my hunting videos and mining videos like normal you know I'm gonna do my hunting logs and my mining logs like normal uh, so I'm gonna have those. So they're gonna be they're gonna be a relative staple. I think they're gonna continue to be a staple for the channel. I thought about mixing it up, maybe doing one big conglomerate video per week, but I thought to myself, mm, it's it's not really it, it's not really the way I like to roll. I really it's not really how I like to roll, uh, especially when it comes to EU. EU I like to get in, do these uh, hunting, mining. And get you know hop out because it makes for almost like a pseudo not not a podcast but it's like a pseudo. Um, I know a lot of you guys watch this or listen to this while you're hunting or mining or swanting or sweating or whatever. I know a lot of you guys watch dash listen to these while you're playing, and I can kind of understand like the whole watching someone else play while you're playing because it almost makes you feel like you're playing with someone else. I mean, that's why I enjoy watching, uh, you know, people play Dark Souls or, uh, yeah, Dark Souls or Mountain Blade when I'm playing Dark Souls or Mountain Blade. You know, they're, they're just little, little things. L little tiny things like that. It's the same reason why I like watching The Walking Dead while I'm playing Dead Frontier. You know, it's, 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 it's almost like I'm not alone, you know? It's almost like I'm a part of something bigger or some fucking bollocks like that. So, you know, I, 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 I can 100% get on board with the idea of, um, you know, watching someone do the exact same thing that you're doing. And we're gonna... Yeah, we're doing we're doing pretty pretty damn okay. We're gonna probably cycle through one more time, I reckon. Yeah, we'll cycle through once more, and we'll see how things go. Just from the loot, we're gonna yeah. Just from the loot, we've made. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna get the sixty PD from the loot. Now, just to see, you know. What sort of shrapnel we get back? Just to triple check. We're actually not losing that much from this L amplifier, so I don't actually know how much we started with. I did check it at the start, so... Uh, I'll just look back through the footage and I'll see how much I lost. Hey, there's like 10.3... You know, PED, so that's always cool. That was a nearly global. <laughs> yeah, let's let's yeah let's fuck it. Let's throw this in as well. Let's cycle this through as well. Fuck it. You know, might as well just have everything as like loot, like loot, loot. Gotta love loot, loot. 
loot loot is great great yeah we'll switch over to this and I think because we're not wearing armor that could also be adding to like being more efficient so since we're more efficient the algorithm you know that figures out the the loot stuff might be giving me priority over other people though I don't know I don't think that's how it works but you never know there's so many different loot theories out there that you, you can grab a dart like throw it at a wall and you'll hit someone's like loot theory that they've got you know that they've had for for years you know just because it's so like the like EU is so vast in its like small like small uh, nuance stuff it's little eccentricities when it comes to hunting and mining and all that shit that you can you can like sit there for like probably years and still never figure out exactly how it fucking works you know no one will I mean it is it will obviously be like a company secret of mind arc you know the people of mind arc would know okay this is how the algorithm works you know it's either completely random so there is no bias or it is um, tailored towards people that are more efficient. You never know. You know, people that uh, don't use armor if they don't need to use armor. You know, people that... Mm, uh, people that... I don't know, maybe do more... Like, swanting. I don't know. People that... Only stick to, like, doing the daily missions. Maybe, like, the daily missions there's a higher volume of like globals and all that sort of shit i, I, th I think stevie b has a um his uh, own little theory about the like if you get a mining uh if you get the mining the daily mining challenge and it's a bonus you have a far higher chance of getting a far higher pd loot drop which you know could be you, you never know. Like, this game is, uh, this game's pretty, pretty wild, pretty out there with, uh, you know, what could be. So you never, you never know. You just, you just never know. Alright, we're going to be finishing up in a minute. And luckily we're not too far away from, not too far away from the, from the outpost, which is good. So we'll just uh, head back there and have a proper look. <gasps> Ooh, check that shit out, guys. Check that fucking shit out. Combustive Attack Nano Chip 4. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. So we got that, and we also got 6 PD of Shrapnel. So that was nearly 30 PD worth of value right there. That was dope. That was sick, man. That was sick. Let's, uh... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just keep cycling through. We're gonna do this again. We're gonna cycle, and we're just gonna keep going. We're now in we're now in Profit Town, so we just we might as well just keep going. Who knows? We might get a global that has a lot of shrapnel in it, and then we could just fucking keep going. Who fucking knows, guys? This is this is great. Why wasn't I? I know why that wasn't a global, but why couldn't that have been global number five? That would have been fun. That would have been pretty cool. I gotta remember this time of day. This time of day... Okay, so it's like 11... Sorry, no, it's like 10.36 for me. About 10.30 is a good time for me to come out here. I guess it's probably because, you know, bigger pri like bigger loot pool, maybe. I don't know. People have come out, been hunting all fucking day. I got no idea. I'm not going to pretend to know either. But, I do tend to find the evening more better for certain things. You know? Like, uh... Yeah, just, just better for certain things. There's always, there's, you know, I have no idea why. It just is. 
Uh, what is the... Okay, so there's not... The tier increase rate is shit. So let's have a... What's the, what's the market value of this? Uh, not that much. Like, at all. Not that much at all, so... Mmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll either just straight up sell it, or... Yeah, because I'm, I'm probably not going to utilize it, so I might sell it. Uh, if it was full TT, it would be a little bit easier to sell, but... Mm. Yeah, because it's not full TT, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to actually sell. So, so it might end up being vendor food. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Oh, we'll figure it out. Six PD worth of shraddy left. We'll kill a couple more of these curbs, and then we will head in to basically check our spoils. See what we got. We got plenty. That's what we got. We got absolutely fucking plenty. Which is always a good thing to see. Always a damn, damn fine thing to see. And it's always good when this sort of thing happens, like when you get a good roll of stuff, right? When you're on a good roll, like last night, um, I was doing some crafting. You know, so last last night I was doing a uh, bunch of crafting, and I got three, four globals crafting, and then I was able to pretty much. So so what I ended up doing was. And don't try to do this, because it's so fucking stupid. Um, but... <laughs> so, I sold my Ancient Greece shares. And I didn't have quite enough... This is how stupid it is, right? I didn't have quite enough... For... The amount of... Um, what do you call them? Arcadia Underground Deeds that I wanted. So, I bought materials and crafted a bunch of cleric uh, A1 or whatever daggers. Bunch of cleric daggers, right? So, I crafted a bunch of those cleric daggers. And I globaled off of them. Got a little bit more PD. I'm like, okay, okay. I'm like, well, what, el what else can I, uh, can I make? Well, it ended up giving me, like, an LP... 10? Yeah, an LP10 uh, thingy, my bob, right? So it gave me an LP10 uh, limited blueprint. So I ended up doing all those. And I got a couple of globals from that. And I ended up coming away with an extra 150 PD, so I was able to get like an extra Arcadia Underground deed. It was just random. I'm like, okay, well, if I don't get enough, then obviously I'm, I'm out. I would be out by X amount of PD. But at this point in time, you know, things smiled upon me, which is always good. And I'm starting to understand like some of the nuance when it comes to, when it comes to crafting. Like some of them, like some of the things, like the cleric dagger. It's really easy to craft because there's only two components that you need. You need six iron ore, and you need one uh, a angelic or angelic flake, I think. And that's it. That's all you need. Yeah, we're just gonna yeah we'll convert this, and this will just go with the rest of our shrapnel pile. Try not to get too close to those guys. We're gonna see exactly what we got back. And let's see. So that's points 26.3 so yeah I, I don't know how much I had on there to begin with but even if that was like at 35 we've still come back with buku amounts of stuff we don't need to worry about losing anything so there's 83 so we come back with we went out with 60 we came back with 106.34 so even if you know 6.34 was lost on the amp, we still come back with an extra 40 PD, which is uh, pretty, pretty fucking sweet. It's pretty fucking sweet, 
mate. And uh, that always makes me, it always makes me very, very happy. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be leaving it there for today. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. And again, hit the subscribe button if you know. And I'll see you in the next one.